Kate Middleton pregnant, Duchess forced away from preferred hospital amid security fears. Kate Middleton was moved away from using her preferred choice of hospital while pregnant, as it was not equipped to handle the security needs of the birth, unearthed accounts reveal. The Duchess of Cambridge sparked speculation that she wanted a fourth child, to join her young family of three after appearing on a podcast to discuss parenthood and what it's like to be a mother. Since then, reports have gained the momentum that another baby will join the Cambridge fold, and siblings Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. But a throwback report from the time she was pregnant with George revealed that she might want her son to be born at the Royal Berkshire Hospital, where Kate herself entered the world. This was because in the final weeks of her pregnancy, Kate spent more time at her parents' home which is close to the reading-based facility. However, her wishes were dashed after royal correspondent Victoria Arbiter confirmed the baby would be born in St. Mary's Hospital, London, where Kate's husband William was born. She said that the Royal Berkshire Hospital was not equipped to handle the security needs of the birth, and that the royals want the birth to be as easy on other patients at the hospital as possible. That need would only be fulfilled as St. Mary's. M's arbiter said, where complex pregnancies were routinely handled. But what was most surprising in the build-up to George's birth, was the revelation that police presence at the hospital would not be bolstered, despite the future king being born there. The correspondent reported that as opposed to boosting police numbers, the couple would just want to return home as quickly as possible, so they could be with their newborn. M's arbiter said, Diana had William on June 21st and left on June 22nd, and I'm sure William and Kate are hoping for something similar. If all goes well with the delivery, Kensington Palace gives them privacy and security without added worries. Kate would give birth in the hospital's iconic Lindo Wing, which has previously seen new royal mothers step outside with their child for the first time. After they emerge, as was the case with William's parents Charles and Diana, Pictures are taken of the couple and their newest arrival, with M's arbiter suggesting the royals like to be as visible and accessible to their subjects as possible. But she warned in a 2013 ABC article, this makes it tricky to protect against a lunatic in the crowd, but protection officers are always watching. When Diana died as a result of being chased by paparazzi, that really shut things up. The press will be respectful. Nobody wants to get thrown out of the royal press pool. The excitement of a royal baby announcement emerged earlier this year after Kate chatted with the Happy Mum, Happy Baby podcast. She told the broadcast that all mothers suffer from mum guilt, and that anyone who doesn't as a mother is lying. The Duchess of Cambridge added, There's such a pull, but I am such a hands-on mum, and whatever you're doing you want to make sure you're doing the uttermost best job you can for your children.